بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو آور یوٹیوب چینل بوٹنی وید یوٹیوب آئی ایم ہیئر پی ایش ٹی سکولر ٹوڈے وی ویل ڈسکس ا ٹاپک ٹریڈو فائٹر دی کانٹینٹس آر انٹروڈکشن جنرل کریکٹر reproduction life cycle classification and conclusion tridophyta is a group of ancient plant most of the tridophytes are extinct and present in the form of fossils few are present in the form of living organism there are four major subphylum of tridophyta Selopsida, Lycopsida, Phenopsida, Tyropsida. If you are new in our channel, then please try to subscribe it firstly. Cyphalum, Tyropsida. introduction of teropsida teropsida represent the most highly evolved group among the lower vascular plants living ferns are represented by 305 genera and 10000 species you can see here the pictures of ferns Example of Teropsida are there. For example, Adiantum, Taris. Here the example with picture. Acrens. Usually these are found on shady and moist places. Only few one grow under dry conditions. They are also present in the form of epiphytes. General character, tridophytes are commonly named as ferns. Most species are heterosporous. Some are present in the form of homosporous. Their size and structure may be very species to species. Teropsida do not have flowers. Their character may show resemblance with flowering plants. They have root, stem and leaves. Their leaves are megafollows. They have characteristics of fronds. Fronds are coiled, immature, young leaves. This pattern of development is called Sarcinate vernation. The main plant body is sporophyte. Sporophyte of tridophyte is differentiated in root, stem and leaves. Gametophyte is free living. They may be photosynthetic or mycorrhizal. Gametophyte may be filamentous and their sex organ are embedded in the tissues of gametophyte please try to share share our channel with your friends with your colleagues with your students as well as other researchers parts of ferns you can see diagram of ferns axis pinna panules roots rhizome rhizoids stalk blade fronds are part of ferns reproduction sporophyte reproduce by spores which are produced within sporangia
the leaves that bear sporangia are known as sporophyll and sleginella and equisetum have cones or strobili like structure gametophyte gametophyte of teropsida are haploid in structure subterranean means underground archegonia do you have any idea about archegonia of tridophyta archegonia is female reproductive organ archegonia are flock shape each archegonium consists of a basal swollen portion and a short neck and basal portion contain eggs the stem of tridophytes creeping or it may be aerial branching of tridophyta may be dicotmous or lateral roots arise from the lower portion of rhizome or aerial branches do you know what are rhizomes root like structure is called rhizome the main plant body is sporophyte anthridia anthridia is the male reproductive organ it may be embedded in the gametophyte fertilization when the male gametes means sperm and throzoites move with the help of water towards the egg both the egg and sperm fuse with each other and form a structure which is called zygote this process is called fertilization after the formation of zygote a structure is developed which is called embryo the embryo have ability to form young sporophyte alternation of generation it's also a important definition you can see in the diagram spores germinate to produce gametophyte generation and gametes fused with each other to form sporophyte generation means haploid form diploid plant body and diploid form haploid plant body means sporophytic body have ability to produce gametophytic body and gametophytic body have ability to produce 
sporophytic body. This phenomena, this process is called alternation of generation. Means haploid generation and diploid generation alternate with each other. Life cycle. In the life cycle, you can see spores fall down on soil, they germinate, produce gametes. Gametes are two types male and female. Male and female gamete fuse with each other, they form a zygote zygote form embryo embryo form sporophytic body and sporophytic body produce spores and spores are used to germinate or produce next generation this is called the life cycle of teropsida Again, classification of Tridophyta. There are four subphylums. Number one, Lycophyta. Its sporophytic body is differentiated into root, stem, and leaves. They may contain microphyllous leaves with single veins. Their steel may be protostalic. Siphanostalic, polystalic, leaf gaps are always absent. Sporophyll produce a single sporangium. Sporophyll are born in strobili. They may be homosporous or heterosporous. Their anthrozoids are biflagellate or multi -silates. Diagram or picture of Lycophyta Coelophyta Sporophytic body is differentiated into Aerial branches and underground part which is called rhizome. Aerial portion have branched structure. Vascular system is present in it. In protostalic type, leaf cap are absent from vascular cylinder. The gametophyte is subterranean means underground and colorless. They are homosporous and throids are multiciliates. Please try to like our video and try to share with your friends and other students and some other researchers. Silophyta digram Arthrophyta The sporophyte is differentiated into stem, root and leaves. They possess distinct ridges and furrows. The foliage leaves are born in transverse. The vascular cylinder is Protostalic or siphonostalic leaf caps are absent. These porentia are produced upon a specialized structure which is called sporangiophore, present at the apex of the stem. The anthrozoid are multiciliates, they are homosporous. 
आर्थ्रोफाइटा फिलोकोफाइटा स्पोरोफाइट ऑफ दिस स्पीशी एज डिफ्रेंशिएटेड इन टू स्टेम लीव एंड रूट दिस फिनोस्टेलिक फॉर्म एज प्रेजेंट लीव कैप एज प्रेजेंट इन वस्कुलर सिलेंडर द लीव आर मैक्रोफालस they are homosporous the anthrocyte are multiciliates the sex organ are found on the ventral surface of the heart shaped prothallus gametophyte example benefits of teropsida these varieties are grown in garden as an ornamental plants and produce many medicines conclusion teropsida is one of the older group of plant present in the plant kingdom they are one of the very first true plant to adopt to life on land they are beneficial plant these type of plant are used in many medicinal activities thank you so much thanks for your attention thanks for your concentration thanks to visit our channel